All right, students. Uh, so uh, next uh, general entries are related to uh, job order costing when jobs are completed. That means when uh, once you complete your job, how that job is transferred from work in process department to finish course department. So as it says over here, the cost of completed job are transferred out of work in process account and into the finished good account so once the job is completed and the goods are manufactured that uh, goods are then transferred from your work in process account to your finished goods account so what do we do in that scenario as it says over here we debit the finished good account and we credit the work in process account. Matlab, work in process se wo amount nikal ke finished goods mein chali jayegi. We, the amount will get out of the work in process and will go into finished good account. So that is the second part. That is the entry which is required when the jobs are completed. So isko humne yaha par word, uh, journal entry bhi bana di hai. That is Finish goods work in process se amount nickel rahi hai, to work in process humne credit kar diya. Or wo kaha transfer hoi hai? Finish goods ke andar finish goods ki amount bar rahi hai, to usko humne debit kar diya. To finish goods debit, work in process credit is the entry when jobs are completed. Ek cheez ka khayal rakhe, jo aakhir mein humne likha hai, uh, that the amount transfer between these two accounts represents the cost of goods manufactured for the period. Matlab, jo work in process se amount nikal ke finish goods mein ja rahi hai, us amount ko hum kya kehte hai? Cost of goods manufactured, C-O-G-M. All right? Okay, now let's move on to the next slide. Moreover, once you have received the job from work in process, to, once you have received the amount from work in process to finished goods, the next entries are related to when those finished goods are sold. It says in the first sentence, as finished goods are shipped to customers, their accumulated costs are transferred from finished good account to cost of goods sold account. Matlab, jab aapne goods bana liye, goods bana ke work in process se finish goods me transfer kar diye, job complete ho gai. Phir jab aap usko sale karenge, to aapka amount jo hai finish goods ka, wo kam ho jayega aur wo kaha transfer kar denge? cost of goods sold account may transfer kar denge. So your amount from finished good, uh, finish goods will be transferred to your cost of goods sold account. So uh, what we have done, the first entry which we have written down over here, hence the first entry made when finished goods are delivered on credit is as follows. Meaning, we finished goods sale kare, to our finished goods kya ho gai? Kam ho gai. तो क्रेडिट कर दिया और मैंने क्या बताया था हम कहां उसको ट्रांसफर करेंगे कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड्स सोल्ड अकाउंट में तो कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड्स सोल्ड अकाउंट डेबिट एंड फिनिश गुड्स अकाउंट क्रेडिट सो कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड्स सोल्ड इज द अमाउंट व्हिच विल बी इंक्रीजिंग हेंस वी हैव डेबिटेड कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड्स सोल्ड एंड फिनिश गुड्स अमाउंट इज द वन व्हिच इज डिक्रीजिंग तो फिनिश गुड्स जब डिक्रीज हो के कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड्स सोल्ड में उसका अमाउंट ट्रांसफर होगा तो हम करेंगे कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड्स सोल्ड डेबिट फिनिश गुड्स क्रेडिट रिमेंबर व्हेन द वैल्यू ऑफ इन्वेंटरी डिक्रीज this automatically your cost of goods sold increases so that is the entry which we have made over here while the second entry will also be made whenever goods are sold to hamare paas do entries banti hain ek cost of goods sold ki banegi aur dusri jo banegi wo banegi sales ki isme kya hota hai it says while the second entry made is related to sales and it is as follows to humne sales kare na jab dekhe hamare finished goods सेल होए तो फिनिश गुड्स क्रेडिट कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड्स सोल्ड डेबिट लेकिन मोस्ट जब सेल्स हम करते हैं तो सेल्स की भी एक एंट्री बनती है क्यों सेल्स हमारा रेवेन्यू है सेल्स बढ़ रहा है सेल्स इज इंक्रीजिंग और हम लोग अगर लेट्स से फॉर एग्जांपल अगर उसके अगेंस्ट हमें कैश मिल रहा है तो हम कैश डेबिट करेंगे और अगर हमें उसके अगेंस्ट कैश नहीं मिल रहा हमें अभी क्रेडिट पे हमने सेल करी है तो हम अकाउंट्स रिसीवेबल डेबिट करेंगे तो हमारी सेकंड एंट्री क्या होगी कैश और अकाउंट रिसीवेबल debit and sales credit cash or account receivable debit and sales credit so please remember whenever goods are sold there'll be two entries which are required one related to 
finished goods getting transferred into finished goods uh, sorry finished goods getting transferred into cost of goods sold which was cost of goods sold debit and finished goods credit and then the second one where our sales amount is increasing against your cash or accounts receivable one important note which i have written down at the very bottom of the page or the slide sorry is that the first entry related to cost of goods sold is made at cost price while the second entry related to sales is made at selling price so please remember that the first entry which we have made cost of goods sold debit and finished goods credit yahan par jo hum amount likhenge wo hum un goods ki cost price wali amount likhenge un goods ki कॉस्ट प्राइस वाली अमाउंट आएगी और जो सेकेंड में हमने एंट्री बनाई है कैश डेबिट अकाउंट रिसीव कैश और अकाउंट रिसीवेबल डेबिट एंड सेल्स क्रेडिट यहां पर जो वैल्यू आएगी वो वैल्यू आएगी रिलेटेड टू सेलिंग प्राइस रिलेटेड टू सेलिंग प्राइस तो इन दोनों का फर्क बहुत साफ है वैल्यूज दोनों में सेम नहीं होंगी पहली एंट्री में जो वैल्यू आएगी वो कॉस्ट प्राइस पे आएगी और सेकेंड एंट्री जो आप बनाएंगे उनकी में जो वैल्यूज आएंगी वो सेलिंग प्राइस में आएंगी All right. So hence, the sales or cost of goods sold will be recorded in these two different entries. जहाँ पहले में हम cost of goods sold से related entry बनाएंगे और second में हम sales से related entry बनाएंगे. पहली entry जो है cost of cost price से बनेगी और second entry जो है वो selling price से बनेगी. All right. Thank you.